What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I'm going to be addressing the age old question, game sharing. Dun, dun, dun. Now I've been getting a lot of questions uh, from two different sides of people. One, new subscribers that don't know what game sharing is and then two, subscribers that already know what game sharing is but are questioning whether or not you can get banned from it or if you can or if it's just gonna disappear in 2018. Now, I'm going to play a meme, or a clip I should say, from Sony and PlayStation. This is their official response to when the PlayStation 4 was going to be released, and people asked the question about physical games. Roll it. This is how you share your games on PS4. Thanks. Okay, so you got to see a little glimpse of a meme that Sony created, but that was to address the concerns the community had as far as physical game sharing. They never really addressed it in its entirety as far as digital, so people are kind of back and forth about it. Now, if you don't know anything about game sharing, please let me uh kind of explain it to you if you guys have any questions at all let me know in the comment section below i'm going to try to address everything in this video i've made videos in the past but a lot of people are new and those videos are buried deep down under um if you guys already know how to game share or don't really care what's up monkey flop like is really appreciated i'll see you guys in the next video i always appreciate each and every one of you guys that stop by the channel but Let's go ahead and kind of share how game sharing works. Okay, I have a PlayStation 4 and a PSN account. Madam Eve has a PlayStation 4 and a PSN account. Both of us have different games. Basically what people do to game share is I go over to Madam Eve's PS4, log in my PSN information, activate my PSN on her PS4, and then she goes and does the same for me. Now, there are restrictions in regards to that. And, you know, there are some things that I would not recommend is uh, activating and deactivating your system uh, on a regular basis it, pretty much every day. That's something that I wouldn't recommend because anything that can make you look like a hacker, Sony will red flag and ban your either your PS4 or your PSN in its entirety. So just don't cause waves. If you've already logged in and activated, just leave it alone and let it be. Today, I'm gonna show you guys um, and explain what you can expect from game sharing from PSN and what it includes. So another important thing to note is to benefit from it, both of you guys need to have PlayStation Plus. Um, you don't have to but it's 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 more beneficial if you both have playstation plus uh, for for game sharing purposes because you do have restrictions um so let's go ahead and go over it so i'm on madam eve's account right now all of these games are locked because i they're on my account except for this one but most of the games are from me they're on my account so i'm gonna actually go in and switch users boom 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 there goes mine my monkey flop i'm gonna switch users and my psn is currently not activated on this playstation 4 so i go into account management i go to activate as primary system i click activate and then uh you currently have another okay change it anyways let's go ahead and activate it and uh, once it activates, activated, perfect, beautiful. Now I'm gonna go back over and switch users back to Madam Eve, and you guys will see that all of the games have indeed unlocked. Now, as you guys can see, I'm on Madam Eve's account. Now, an important thing to note is whatever PlayStation 4 you have your PSN activated on will reap the benefits of all of the games and all of the PlayStation Plus in its entirety. The person 
for example, um, if I have my PlayStation account on Madam Eve's PlayStation 4, She's going to reap the benefits of having all of the games PlayStation Plus and she can share it with multiple multiple accounts. You can go in, I can switch users, I can log into a different account and nothing will be affected and everything will be fine and dandy. Okay, as you guys can see, all of the games are still unlocked and there there's nothing to it. But Another thing to note is if you are on the the giving end, uh, this is the receiving end um, that I'm talking about. But if you're on the giving end and you're the one that's like, you know what, I want to game share my games with this person. Well, guess what? If you game share with the other person, I'm going to show you what happens here. Okay. We are, what am I doing? We are going back. We're switching back to my main account. Okay. Cause I want to make sure that I cover this in its entirety because people have had questions and I felt like, you know what? I might not have explained it uh, a good way. So hopefully with this, we will, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate my primary for my primary PS4. So when you deactivate it, this is important for everybody to note. If you deactivate the system, you cannot perform the following actions. So if my account is deactivated on this PlayStation 4, anyone who uses this PS4 can enjoy the application you purchase from the PlayStation Store. Anyone who uses this PS4 can enjoy numerous benefits if you subscribe to PlayStation Plus, that's including PlayStation Now too. Automatically download to the PS4 content you pre-order or content purchase on the PlayStation app. So they're talking about when you're on the PlayStation app and you purchase something, you can hit download to PS4 and it automatically goes if you're in rest mode. Connect this PS4 via the internet using remote play. So if you have a desktop computer and you want, or maybe a laptop computer, you're on vacation or you got a PlayStation Vita and you want to do, do remote play, that's an option for you. Anyone who uses this PS4 can apply themes. You've purchased themes. Anybody can use them. So when you deactivate all of this stuff, you won't be able to do anymore. So that's really important for you guys to know. So for me, I'm giving all this stuff to Madam Eve, right? And Madam Eve's able to play my games. She's able to log in on multiple accounts and play games, play multiplayer, get the PlayStation Plus games, all that good stuff. Me, it would be whatever Madam Eve had. So that's why I'm talking about it's important for you guys to uh, to actually have a PlayStation Plus on both accounts because, um, you know, that's not to say, let's say, for example, um, if I am, uh, you know, using my PlayStation 4, if I'm on a different account, I can log into Monkey Flop on any uh, PlayStation 4 I want and access my games. They won't be locked. We're on Madam Eve's right now. If I go in and log in on my personal PlayStation Network account, I have access to all of my games. I could download them on anybody's system, but that's only for me to use. If it's not activated as a primary system, the games will be locked if I go on to another account. As you guys can see, all of the games are in unlocked but if you if I go on to another one without activating it then you, you pretty much get nothing so kind of wanted to cover all of that in its entirety a lot of people were questioning whether or not the PlayStation Plus um, or PlayStation game sharing would be affected with uh, the new year coming up you know 2018 oh my gosh is game sharing still going to exist well, I read to you the benefits of activating as your primary system. And if you guys do decide to game share for whatever reason, I have two PS4. So I game share within my two PS4s. One PS4 um, has 
my uh, main account that's activated so that way anybody else that logs on to that PS4 can play the games and then my personal PlayStation 4 um, just has my account on it and I can log in and play whatever games I want. I hope that made sense. If you guys have further questions or if you want to dive a little bit deeper, hit me up in the comment section below. I'm always willing to answer some questions. For those of you that are still going to leave comments uh, asking people to game share, just please be advised that, you know, it's not safe. You're giving away your account information to random strangers by leaving these comments. Um, I'm talking about the people that comment and request and ask other people to game share with them, random strangers. Do not game share with random strangers. Game share with people that you know. Uh, that's been my recommendations since day one. And uh, some people listen. Unfortunately, some people don't. And then I, I get those comments where it's like, dude, breaks my heart because these people are, are getting their accounts hacked, accounts stolen away from them. They have to hit up Sony and have to fight to get their PlayStation uh, network accounts back. So kind of wanted to address it in a whole. I know it's been a lengthy video, but I wanted to explain everything. So that way, for those of you that have been messaging me and commenting on a lot of my videos, um, I can point you to this video. And if you guys watched up until this point, hashtag flop in the comment section below let's get everybody confused if you would take two seconds out of your day hit a like that really helps me out if you guys haven't already subscribed that would be awesome as well and i will see you guys in the next news update oh if you do subscribe hit that bell notification that way you guys know when i get a new video going anyways i'll see you guys in the next news update Thanks. PlayStation.